This is the Pixel Fold, Google's $1,800 foray into the foldable smartphone market. It's also the first foldable smartphone from a major manufacturer to go head-to-head -head with Samsung's Z Fold line of devices, at least in the North American market. With a foldable screen manufactured by none other than Samsung Display, it's tempting to look at this device as nothing more than a Z Fold clone, but that would be a mistake. Aside from weighing an extra 20 grams, that inner screen 6.5 aspect ratio also gives it a stumpier look than the Fold 4's tall and slim 21.6 by 18 ratio. Each to their own, but I prefer short and stout. Thanks to the folks at Creative Electron, we're able to get a sneak peek of the interior before we go in. There's a lot of empty looking space on that hinge, it'll be interesting to see what, if anything, is in there. Looking past the surface, it turns out that the Pixel Fold is beautiful on the inside too. It didn't take much heat or force from Clampy to create an opening for me. In stark contrast to the Z Fold devices, the adhesive around the front screen is pleasantly forgiving, which is typical of Pixel devices, and allows me to remove the front panel without risking damage to the expensive OLED screen. We've got the same glue on the back panel, but I managed to crack the corner as I made my way around with a pick, because I forgot to heat the glue around the raised camera bezel. Numpty user, that one's on me. With a relatively easy front and back panel removal process, we might well be looking at the first foldable smartphone with reasonably accessible batteries. Assuming the foldable panel holds up, the next most likely failure point on this device will be the battery. Digging through cables and connectors reveals a secondary cell and a battery pull tab similar to that in the Pixel 7. But in my excitement, I pulled the tab out. Numpty error, let's get the alcohol. To my surprise, the glue underneath the battery is relatively light, letting me remove the battery without struggle. The main battery sits on the more familiar stretchy pull tab seen in the majority of Pixel phones. One, two, three, four, and five pull tabs and a bit of prying. Whoops, missed pull tab number six. The battery cable is also trapped by this daughter board, but no harm, no foul. The main battery is a lithium polymer rated for 12.93 watt hours, and the secondary battery holds a touch less than half that capacity at 5.78 watt hours. The next major component is the main board, which is held down by a few Phillips screws and several cables. Removing the main board reveals a fair amount of thermal paste against the copper heat pipe, dissipating the heat against the camera side of the back glass. That explains why the device runs at a lukewarm 38 degrees centigrade on one side. This, by the way, is also the difference in temperature between real tea and that gross stuff some of your misguided friends drink out of a can. The last major component on this device is the flexible inner OLED panel. It's also the priciest. Flexible panels have a protective layer of ultra-thin glass that allows them to bend at these extreme radii, but there's a catch. The glass is very delicate, and even the slightest scratch can create a failure point. To prevent this, a plastic protective layer is applied to the glass, which, unfortunately, is susceptible to some unsightly scratches. Here's another departure from other foldable screen designs. The wide bezels on the main screen can be easily peeled away with a bit of heat. Bezels have proven to be very tricky to remove on other foldables, often causing damage to the flexible OLED panel in the process. With the bezels away, there's a very clear but tight entry point for my pry tool, but it quickly becomes clear to me that no amount of heat is going to make the screen easy to remove. How long that inner panel lasts hinges on the folding mechanism itself. We've seen the evolution of Samsung's own hinge mechanism move away from geared to gearless, and it's interesting to see yet another implementation, this time from Google's engineers. While quote-unquote dual axis quad cam synchronized mechanism might be poetry to some, others like myself are visual learners. This is what that looks like under an x-ray machine. It's a very interesting solution that's self-contained and seemingly effective, I don't think it likely that anything will get stuck in the mechanism, but I do wonder how much pocket fuzz will collect in the empty central recess. All in all, this is a valiant first attempt at a foldable phone from Google. While admittedly not as repairable or sturdy as traditional two-dimensional smartphones, with its easily accessible batteries, pull tabs, and replaceable front panel, the Pixel Fold has a slight repairability edge when compared to some of the other foldable phones we've seen. And that's still a win, and hopefully a sign that future foldable phones are at least serviceable, if not even remotely affordable.